In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what we call the wind down. Now, the wind down is very similar to the one rein stop, but we're operating this from the ground on our horse. The two can work together. We often suggest to people that try your groundwork that relates to your ridden work, and do your ridden work related to your groundwork. Think about the two, put the two together, and it will often help you solve problems and make things a little better. So to begin with, I'm going to ask my mare here to move off to her left. She's going to step to her right, and we're going to do a circle to the left. So I'm always thinking about operating my horse from a feel and seeing how soft I can get things to be with my horse. So to begin with, I'm going to see how little it takes to get her to step off to her right here. That's a nice try. I'm going to go ahead and follow through with a little energy from myself. I'd like this circle to be nice and round. I'd like my horse to be round. If you were up in the sky here looking down, I'd like you to see a horse arc in a left-hand circle from the tip of her nose to her tail. I'd like to see her nice and round to the left. Now, if your horse is not arced like that, and maybe they're tipped to the outside with their head, or they're looking with their jaw tipped to you like that right there, you saw how I bumped her there and fixed that a little, one of the exercises we can do is the wind down to help your horse to get more supple. There she's looking off, she was distracted, either way, I don't want her looking to the outside. I want her paying attention here to the inside. So to execute this wind down, I'm gonna shorten up on my lead. I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna keep her forward. I'm paying attention to this inside hind leg and how it's operating. I just shorten up, shorten up, and notice I put the lead rope across my front here. And my right hand holding the lead rope is behind my right pocket. That gives me quite a bit of leverage if I need it. I'll ask her to step over a little more. Now I stop asking and she should stop because there's no more energy in this. There we go, right there. Now I want to feel no pull on this lead rope during this operation. And I would like her to be a little more vertical with her face and a little higher with her pull when I release her. There, there's a little try. So I'm gonna release completely and reward her for that. On your horses, as you're teaching them this, they may just get stopped and soft to the lead rope, and their head may not be in a perfect position. Accept that in the beginning, and you can build on that later. So with her, I want a little more proper head position, a little more vertical in the face, ears level, pull a little higher, and so I'm looking to gain those elements of this softness in her head here. And you also notice that she did not pull on this lead rope to stop. One of the things you're going to experience, as in the one rein stop, when you're riding, is you're gonna find that as your horse stops, they're gonna brace on that lead rope or brace on that rein. So you wanna wait until they come off of that. You want them stopped and soft. We're not stopping our horse by pulling on this we're stopping our horse by no longer asking them to move. And that is my energy here, asking my horse to move. I'll just demonstrate that for you. First, I'll ask her to bring her head around here. I'm gonna go back to that stopped soft position. Bring her head here. And now I'm gonna ask her to untrack those hindquarters again. Keep moving, keep moving forward. I want her forward in this. A little more forward. I'm watching this inside hind leg here. I want it forward, I want it on tracking. More forward, more forward. There we go. Now I'll quit sending her. I'm just changing my mind about moving. That's about all I'm doing to get her to stop. Now I can feel that she's not pulling on this lead rope. Again, I'm looking for the head position. There's a little try there and I release completely. I don't want her to pull this lead rope through my hand when I release her. I wanna give her all that slack from the beginning. So I hope this helps you out a little bit. Another thing I wanna point out in this uh, video is getting your horse loose in their head to neck up here at their pole. And I'd like to be able to, again, this is about getting your horse 
bent or flexed properly, I'd like to be able to come in here with my hands and tip her head to the left, tip it to the right, tip it to the left. You notice how this is very gentle, but I'm asking this jaw to tip away with my right hand. I'm asking the bridge of the nose to tip in with my left hand. When she gives that to me, I get out of there and I might ask her to tip the other way and tip this way. So we'd like this arc in these circles to be nice and round. So I hope this helps you out and have fun with this.